is done. And I'm gonna film the ending. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, yesterday in the mail I got my, what is like my new spindle? <laughs> but it was meant to be the original spindle. It's the one I bought ages ago, it took a while to come in the mail, it's from Ashford. They make spinning supplies. And I, in my last vlog I talked about this one that I made with my boyfriend. Um, so now I've got two on the go. <laughs> But I have some thoughts, because on this one, I am spinning from a roving, which you have to do a lot of pre-drafting, I've learnt about roving, because when it comes, it's like, it's really compacted, um, and so you have to kind of like, break the fibres apart for it to be easy to draft, otherwise it's like really tough. I also steamed it, but... It, I've heard that steaming it can loosen the fibers back up again, but I, maybe I didn't steam it enough. It's still pretty hard to draft. It's a little bit easier, but I find it a little bit frustrating to work with, and maybe I'm just not pre-drafting it enough. Um, the yarn's working out beautifully. I'm actually really happy with how it's going in comparison to my last um, spin. This one that I'm working with is from a bat. And I've I've ripped apart the bat and put it into all of the little all the little pieces to work to spin from. And this is so easy to draft from. From the research I've done on like be at being a beginner with uh, spinning, is to choose fibers more like Corridale or what's the other one? She Chef Shetland. I think that's I think that's the other one. They're really good beginning fibers. And then I've heard a lot of people say like, don't do merino or silk or anything like that. And I didn't know what I was buying. This is merino uh, visco silk. Yes. Um, so it's so soft. And I can see why they, they kind of recommend to not use this for your first, like when you're learning how to spin because it's really, really soft. Um, but I kind of like it because it's really easy to draft from. And it's so, it feels so good. This is so exciting. I'm obviously eventually going to invest in some hand carters and a blending board. I'd love to be able to blend my own bats. And then I'll buy some sheep and I'll go live on a farm and do everything myself. Which is exactly where my brain went the very first time I thought about spinning. Like imagine having your own sheep and you can like go and hang out with your cute little sheep. Good morning. I finished spinning this yeah, uh, last night and so I'm just gonna put it on my nitty noddy and then get it washed. I'm not gonna ply it. <laughs> I don't want to. I really like singles so I'm just gonna try and keep it as singles. Looking pretty pretty good. It's way more even than my last spin was. I made yarn. That's wild. Like, I feel like this will actually straighten out if I, you know, put some weight on it while I'm drying it. It's so pretty!
hi. I kind of went into an intense hyperfocus with this thing and I didn't film any of it. I didn't film any of it at all. I just spent the whole weekend watching Euphoria and doing this. And I don't even remember looking up, so let me tell you about it instead. <laughs> I used five different types of yarn for this. I have my hand spun yarn, which you saw me make during this video, because I wanted the main feature of this one to be the hand spun, and I didn't have a lot of it. I had to be like pretty choosy about where I put it in the piece and like when I was using it, because I really didn't have a lot at all, like probably under 50 grams. Maybe, or maybe like 50 grams, but it was like quite thick, so it wasn't a lot of yardage. Um, so I ended up like using it throughout the top a little bit, and then kind of as a transition to the pink. And then a nice cute little stripe right in the middle of the pink, which I think just breaks it up and balances it out very nicely. <laughs> With hand spun, especially like on a drop spindle, it's like, it's pretty rough around the edges, like you can't really... In terms of consistency, part of like the charm with hand spun yarn on a drop spindle is that it's it's like a bit bumpy, it's like not this like perfect even yarn, um, especially when you're just learning. So you can re never really know what you're going to get and um, it's it really pushed me to like play with texture in this because I knew it was going to be like really bulky in comparison to the type of yarn that I was using for the rest of it. And so I think that's why it like matched perfectly with this boucle because it was like you can kind of have this busyness and then the pink, the solid pink is like the only way I could really go if I wanted to add this one in was like the complete opposite. Um, to like balance everything out, we've got like crazy land and also like really nice clean land going on at the same time. I think that's like my favourite part of this piece. This is one of my favourite things I've made, maybe ever, because <laughs> it's just so detailed and I just felt so excited by it. I haven't, I have, was kind of going through like a phase of just not really feeling super excited by knitting and I think adding spinning into my pro into my practice has really like transformed the feeling of knitting and just connect with the piece so differently. I think that's all I have to say about this one. Mm -hmm.